What's going on guys? It's a rainy, gloomy, shitty looking day outside in here in Austin, Texas. Spent all weekend traveling to Oklahoma for work, uh, traveling back, not getting a whole lot of sleep. But guess what? It's football day. Welcome to another episode of The Gantry. Think uh, cleverly celebrate to be scores. Absolutely. Yeah, he's got to it. I I hope he runs forty fucking yards. Slides on his knees. In Mourinho's <laughs> face. Oh, okay. That was Just funny. right in front of him. Think about Adebayor when he did it. Oh yeah, he ran further than forty yards. Yeah, he ran the fucking length of the field. Corner. We're nineteen minutes in. Eighteen twenty-three. Eighteen twenty-three. Yeah, nineteenth minute. Uh, pretty in the end, no real chances either way, but United have a corner right now. Martial to take. Uh, knocks around a bit. Looks like it's gonna be cleared. Yeah, Still ahead. Oh, oh, that was dirty. Snap. It breaks on. Yannick Balassi on the ball. Skins one. Cross and save oh. Lukaku, and it's cut off. It was that Phil Jones. Phil Jones clears it away. Yeah, uh, Phil Jones made a really nasty face at that ball. And now, <laughs> and uh, Martial after the clearance gives it the foul. Who do you have winning this, by the way? Uh, I don't know, man. I say it's a one-one. One-one. One-one draw. Calling it. United have a free kick. So Don's about to take it, and wow. That was piss poor. And now Balassi's on the break. Smashed that into the wall. That free kick was so bad that Balassi was able to just walk off with it immediately. Like there was no, there was no huge deflection off the wall. It just <laughs> stopped dead at Balassi's feet. He was like, okay, I'm running now, thank you. All right guys, 35 minutes in. Not a whole lot's changed. Uh, United still with the bulk of possession, but not able to find any kind of final ball. I'm struggling to find what Pogba has done positively in this game. He hasn't done anything. Every time he's been on the ball, it's him tackle the way or he's giving it away. It's yeah, it's a poor pass or it's him dribbling too far, trying and to Garrett's do too much. Garrett comes and destroys him. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, I, I feel like Pogba tries so hard to do something vine worthy, like. He can't ever play a simple ball. I feel like that's how his, his uh, career has been made. <laughs> it, seriously. It's like the seriously. height of his Vine video. It's shoot a long shot. Does it go in? No? Okay, repeat. Yeah. Does it go in? Yes. Okay. Roll dab, pass. dab, <laughs> dab, <laughs> dub step, wop, 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 wop. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Uh, we, we say this all the time, but if Grand Jaka dabbed and made some dub step Vines, we would have paid. 70 million more for him. <laughs> oh! That's in. Um, it's gone in. It's, it has to have gone in. Oh my god, unbelievable. Wow! <laughs> Man. Um, That's ridiculous. I think dude. that was really questionable. That was suspect on Stecklenburg for me. Thank you. Yeah, that's on Stecklenburg for me, man. So the ball gets somehow behind the Everton defense. Yeah, I got in. Stecklenburg comes out. It wasn't even Probably in unnecessarily. It wasn't even Here we go, here we go. That was a long ball. Long ball. Is that, it's not Pogba. Long ball up says Latan, but it's covered. Who's, who's got him? That's Bruno's Mori, right? Uh, so it's a long ball. Zlatan's making a diagonal run in behind the defense. Right. Bruno's Mori is right on him. Yeah. He can handle it. He has a yard or two of space in between him. Yeah. Like, he's, not even, not even that Yeah, much. not even he's two right yards. Yeah, he's yeah. right on him. It's covered. Stecklenburg charges, I think, honestly, because it's Latan. Yeah. And so Stecklen... What is he doing? Well, that was warranted. But oh, he's definitely got God. a guy. So Stecklenburg just came out again, but he wins the ball this time. Yeah, came But he out, comes out for Zlatan. the sideline. And uh, the ball bounces. Zlatan kicks it over Stecklenburg. It bounces a few times on the line. But Hits the, the crossbar and the, the post. Yeah. And then the spin takes it over the line. Heartbreaking for Everton to concede that. But 
Honestly, for me, that's on Secklenburg every time. All right, so yeah, halftime. Uh, it's 1 0 Man United after a Secklenburg horror show. Uh, nice chip over the top. But yeah, kind of not the best of the games to watch, but it was a nice goal. There's no coffee in this mug. All right, halftime thoughts. Uh, let's start with United. Uh, yeah, United, honestly, haven't been the best, but on the run of play, I think they probably deserve the 1 0 lead at the moment. Um, not a lot of creativity going forward, which is weird to think about when you say they have Zlatan, they Martial, have Pogba, Pogba, and Mikatarian as their front four. But there's not a lot of cohesion. Yeah. Um, poor on Secklenburg, doing his best Norrie impression, not really coming off. Uh, I don't know, what do you think about United? Uh, I think the, uh, I don't know, they're getting the ball wide, they're not getting any service in, you're right, like they just have no ideas, there's no final ball, there's no real, well there's no cohesion, there's no, yeah, there's no like goal, you know what I mean, like this is right. the style that right. we're trying to play, right. this is how we're going to get yeah. forward, this is what we're going to do. If, uh, you, if you're finding this space out wide, then your two giant players in the middle, being Pogba and Zlatan, need to be getting into the box on the end of potential crosses. Right now, Mkhitaryan's finding lots of space, wide right, and, and then having just, a pass back. Because there's nothing there's there for nothing him. There. There's nothing there for him. Uh, and he's a great crosser of the ball. So like that's yeah. that's a, a position, that's an in-game winning position. That's a win condition, if you will. <laughs> Seriously, a win condition. Yeah. Um, but it's just not really coming off. They, they're not seeming to see that. Uh, you know. But Everton, um, Everton for me have been very, very poor. Um, they're, they're hoofing up long balls to Lukaku, which, you know, fair play. You have a giant forward like that who's really good at, at, at bringing a ball down and laying it off. However, you've also got Morales and Balassi who love to play into the channels, you know, wide right, wide left, and, and find space that way. And then Lukaku can run into the box. Uh, they're not really doing that. You have great passers in the midfield in uh, Gareth Barry and... and uh, for me, Cleverly's Cleverly's a good, he's a good distributor of the ball. like he's but, a good uh, distributor too. Yeah, uh, but they're not really doing that. They're they're very hesitant to try to play through United. They're trying to play over United. Well, really, all they're doing is sitting back and trying to counter. Right. But those balls into the channels to Balassi, they have they haven't even gone to Morales. They're not quality counters. They're nothing. Me. Dude. Yeah. They're, they're, they're 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 just hoofing the ball forward and hoping hoping for the not best. a not a lot of ideas. Just kind of spray and pray. And, it, and right now their prayers have not been answered. Right so. now, Balassi. I mean, Balassi and Lukaku are working hard to try to get right. the end of it. Yeah. Both of them look lively. Yeah. But it's not coming out for them. You got to get the service. You yeah. Know? So, so uh, right now it's one 0 United. Uh, the way it's going, it's probably going to stay that way. Yeah. Everton have I not looked dangerous at all. I could see another goal from United. Maybe, maybe the kill of uh, the game. Burning yeah. time. Yeah, I, I could see another goal from United. Um, for me, Everton are just losing the midfield battle as far as possessions concerned. Uh, Gareth Barry's had a good game, disrupting play. I mean, he's doing his job. He's doing That's his job. That's his job to do. He's to doing disrupt his play job. in the midfield and uh, try to win back possession. He's right. doing that. But uh, after they get the ball back, there's nothing. Yeah. Not, a, not a lot of link-up play going on there at all. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, prediction's probably 2-0 United. I'm thinking 2-0 United. Based play. I'm thinking 2-0 United. I'm thinking they get one more. Yeah. I'm going to say... Unless a resurgence from Everton happens, I think you're probably right. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe Koeman gives them the hairdryer. I mean, Ross Bollock is warming up, so that'll probably be their that, difference maker. That would be a huge, huge difference maker for them. I, For me, drop cleverly deeper. Yeah. Put uh, put Ross so you take off Idrissa, Idrissa Gay, who hasn't. Have we seen him on the ball? He's no. made one decent tackle, I think, that we recognize. Yeah, he's. I mean, I, I think that's more his game, though. I think he's more of a disruptor. So, you you know, you have Gareth Barry and and put Tom are, we, are we calling him Gay? Is that that's yes, the name we're going with? That's what we're going okay. With. Well, we have two kind of disruptors, and then Cleverly, who's not exactly Mesut Ozil. So yeah. there's not a whole lot of creativity in that midfield right now. So that, I think bringing on Barkley, even if you brought him on at half, yeah. what, what have you got to lose? No. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're thinking 2-0 United at the end of it, unless uh, every team really gets something going in the second half. Okay. Uh, we'll see you on the end of halftime. All right, second half started. Let's hope for a more lively second half, man. Uh, you know, it's a United game, so you take what you get. Yeah, sure. God, killed it dead. Well, Dude, hard. for sure spray that ball wide. What are you doing? That's got to be first time. Or second touch, I guess. But 
That first time? <laughs> Maybe not first touch, but you know what I mean. Quickly. We got Thomas over here calling for first time 35 yard <laughs> lateral crosses. <laughs> not first touch. Damn, outside of the foot. Hey, it's Pogba, bro. Outside of the foot. 100 million, 100 million dollars. <laughs> Get it done, son. <laughs> Jesus, that would have been a hell of a ball. Dude. So it looks Damn, Seamus Coleman. Body. Oh, and then he draws a foul. That was Sits on him. That was quality. He just got sat on by Zlatan. Let me think Zlatan weighs. Oh 220? God. Dude, at least. Look at those fucking legs. <laughs> Jesus. Look at Seamus Coleman, man. Fearless. Get the fuck off me. Love it. Zlatan just barrels into him, pushes him over. And then sits, sits on, his, on face, his face, kicks him. Oh my god. Oh, that was hard, man. Jesus, man. It falls right on top of him. Oh! Oh! Wow, Morales that finally was, gets on the ball dude, and he makes was, something happen. He blows by a center back. Actually, no, he blew by a, a defensive midfielder. Who was that? No, he blew by Rojo. Rojo made a tackle, yeah, comes by, right back off of Morales. Yeah. Yep. He gathers it, takes a shot, and it's a pretty decent save from it. Yeah, yeah, shoots across goal. The hair shows his worth right there, though. It's a good save. I'm wondering what the halftime talks were like, because we're seeing dramatically different second half already. Morales is playing way more centrally you now. Well, a couple things that we called for. You know, we called for for more creativity and Everton to play on the ground. Oh. Anyway, a couple of things that we that we called for. We called for Everton to play with more creativity and play it along the ground a little more, which they are doing. And now, also, if you'll notice, when United are getting this, the ball wide, like they are right now with Martial, like, they're actually having people in the box. There's actually people looking for the, the, the in ball. Everton's surging forward right now. A lot of blue shirts in the box. Play it back for a little bit, but they do have pressure. They've got numbers four for sure. Yeah. You know, they, they've uh, been... As much as uh, United have gotten forward this half, they've never time been really compact. Yep. And you saw like, right when they gained possession, they all broke forward as a team. Yep. You know, and now they're all dropping back as a team as United get on the ball. Oh, Mkhitaryan, doing well, son. He's earning that fucking starting spot, dude. Oh! Oh! That was all Mkhitaryan for me. Je oh, oh, he's done Morales. A Morales took a lively second half. You see how much he's cutting in, though? He's not out yeah, wide left playing anymore. center. Yeah, he's playing. I mean, he's probably still there. Yeah. But uh, he's cutting in a lot more often. We're well, back to that last chance United had. Megatar in good wing play. Plays it into, who was that? Plays it into Carrick getting all the way forward. Nice little chip ball in to Pogba. Doesn't come off, but it falls to Ant Herrera and hits the post. Yep, hits the right stick. Left stick, sorry. Mkhitaryan looking lively though, earning that starting job. Yeah. I can't imagine who would take that away from him. Like, especially playing this formation. Yep. If you're gonna play a 4 2 3 one that suits him. I mean, based on the position of the players and, and the substitutions, Everton are trying to go get this game, but it's one thing, Mourinho's sides are always gonna be defensive. That's a good ball in! Oh! Oh! And of Valencia, put that anywhere else but right at De Gea, and you probably score. That's good work from De Gea. He didn't Bayo get right a whole lot on it though. Like he he got contact, but ah, oh, he tries to put it back across goal, yeah. but it goes straight to De Gea. So good wing play from De La drops it back to Holgate, who puts it in first time. And of Valencia gets up and tries to put it across goal, but it goes straight to De Gea. Typical super negative Jose Mourinho change, bring yeah. off. Mkhitaryan, who's had a great game, in my opinion, uh, for Marouan, the hair, Fellaini, the Belgian post. <laughs> the Belgian elbow. The Belgian elbow. That's his new name. Marouan, the Belgian elbow, Fellaini. That's it right there. Yep. Penalty, Fellaini. The Belgian elbow. I'm so Strikes biased again. right now. I'm so biased right now, <laughs> but I just cannot root for a, a, a Mourinho team, and he's not happy. Who takes this for you? Uh, Lukaku? Lukaku has to take it. Yeah? Oh, that's soft, dude. That's soft. That is a soft That is fan. so soft. I mean, neither of us are Fellaini fans, but that probably wasn't a penalty. Far from it. 
That was harsh. And now Fellini gets a yellow card for the sin. Damn. I think his reputation probably preceded him. Yeah. The Belgian elbow. Oh, the, Leighton Baines is taking the I mean the penalty. He was Fellaini was was warming up and the ref was already getting his book out. Yeah. Like, it was just yeah. like the Belgian elbows coming in hot. Alright, Leighton Baines to take. Now De Gea is getting a yellow card for time wasting. Leighton Baines puts oh, it in. Oh wow. Oh that Beautiful was a nice take penalty. penalty. Went bottom left. De Gea's right hand side. Opens up his body, goes bottom left. Beautiful take. It's 1 1. How did we not think of what to take? I don't know. They deserve that though. They I think did, they deserve yeah. a goal. Just based on how positive they've been yeah. and how hard they've been working. On second half performance, they definitely deserve that. Mourinho looks like he just drank sour milk and he's not sure if he's <laughs> going to get sick. With a slight smugness in there as well. There was a hint of like. Mm, fart or shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Look how hard the cock is working. Yeah. Fuck off me, son. Wow, he just, just bodied off Rojo. Rojo. Play it wide. Oh, oh wow. Five minutes of stoppage time. Oh man, they've this got a is getting here. spicy. They got a chance here. Five minutes is up. Michael Oliver blows his whistle. 1-1, one, one, Everton, Man United. All righty, guys, game's over. 1-1, one, one. I like to point out that I did predict that at the beginning, but then I fucking backed off it like an idiot. Fair enough. Uh, Post-game thoughts, or uh, final thoughts at least. Uh, I think Everton made some really positive adjustments early, eh, midway through the second half. Yeah. Uh, reaped their just rewards. They got what some people would call an unfair penalty call, but I think on run of play, they probably deserve to equalize. Yeah. Uh, 80th minute, Leighton Baines, beautiful penalty. Um, yeah, what do you got? Uh, I'd say, yeah, pretty classic Mourinho team, uh, especially in the first half, kind of just sitting deep, but nothing really too exciting. Uh, but in the second half, kind of exploded into some action. Everton got the ball more to Mor people like Morales, people like uh, Belasi before he came off, and then to Delefeu when he came on. Um, just a lot more exciting, they poured forward more. Uh, in the first half, Everton sat back, just just accepted the pressure, right. th or the little bit of pressure that uh, United placed on them, and we're just kind of booting balls forward. And uh, in the second half, they played a bit more football, a bit more attractive uh, play there in the second half, and they reaped the rewards. I mean, like you said, they got a penalty. It was real soft on Fellaini, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, you're right. Like based on the run of play, based on how dangerous they've been, and how negative United had been, especially in the second half, they deserved the one-one. And uh, I mean, I think uh, in terms of excitement, the second half made up for yeah. the first half for sure. Yeah, it's almost like the way Everton set up and the substitutes that they made. Like they thought that the first half they were just gonna weather know, the storm. They were gonna take their best punch. Yeah, yeah they were gonna take United's best punch. But they didn't account for Stick Hellenberg being an absolute buffoon. Yeah, but uh, it almost worked out for him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, United in the final third are. A shambles for me. Considering how much money they have up there. Mikatarian was bright. Mikatarian was probably their brightest player. Yeah, on the day, I would sure. say, especially in the final third, Zlatan's hold up play was typical Zlatan. It was excellent. Yeah. He's chesting balls down a lot. He, but he didn't have the runners, as you pointed right, out earlier. Right, right. Well, you know, besides Mikatarian, but, right, but that's not really his game more. once again. Right. Yeah, so he likes to cut in. Um, as much as Valencia likes to fucking thrash up that right-hand side. He yeah. really didn't do that a whole lot. Yeah, and Mar as much as usual. Martial was playing rather deep on the left-hand side. Like, he wasn't yeah. overlapping He didn't really even lot. get on the ball a lot either. Yeah, though. yeah. He made a lot of tackles, which yeah. is strange, but I guess when you have Darmian behind you, you've got <laughs> you've got to help out with the yeah. defense. Well, same thing for Pogba. Like, he was dropping really, really deep, but it got pretty well, much nothing. Well, he was getting back forward. But he got really nothing going. Like, yeah. all of his final balls were not there. Right. So, well, I'm not going to contest from him. I'm not going to contest you on Paul Pogba's performance today. I was yeah. shocking. I mean, it's if it's any other player, it's like, well, you know, he's had an off couple of games, but when you pay 100 million dollars for someone, you expect yeah. results and uh yeah. I mean, in our opinion, he definitely hasn't performed in a United jersey yet. Uh especially uh, today. I can't yeah. claim to have watched him every game this year. Yeah. I've seen him a few times now. Aside from that one uh, assist he had that long ball to was that Zlatan and a couple of decent goals. And a, is it two? Yeah, I think no? he only has two. Does he have two or I one? I think he has two or two or three maybe. Okay. Yeah, not not very not as much as you think Paul Pogba should have. Right. 
Uh, and I mean, he didn't really, before you could have used the excuse, he didn't have uh, the kind of setup around him, the defensive minded midfielders, but say he had Carrick and Andrew Herrera behind yeah. him. He was given the freedom to go forward. And Decent he lineup for the first time. Right, exactly. I, great United lineup for me. That's, that's probably how I would align the team up if yeah. I were a manager. It makes the most sense. But, uh, yeah, exactly. It, it was a sensible, balanced midfield and attack. And I don't know, he just wasn't able to express himself. Yeah. I don't know what else I can say. Well, again, 1-1. Uh, decent, decent result based on the run and play. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Uh, and leave the comments down below on what uh, games you'd like to see in the future. Yep. We'll probably be back for the Champions League this week. Uh, so we'll see thinking. you. Real Madrid, Dortmund looks tasty. Definitely on Wednesday. We'll see what we figure out on Tuesday. We'll try right. to get some videos out. Yep. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. Again, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode of The Gantry.